St. Patrick's Day 2024 has come and gone. Some local business owners are taking a closer look now at how much money they made. WSAV's Sarah Smith is live from City Market where several businesses say they scored big. Well, St. Patrick's Day was a success. At least that's what several business owners here in City Market tell me. One of them reporting a record breaking day. We've never had a day in history that we've done that well on. Savannah Candy Kitchen made history on St. Patrick's Day 2024, selling out of several items and ingredients, according to owner Rhett Strickland. And I was running back and forth between our warehouse facility and actually bringing product back down. So we may not be selling alcohol. We might not have been running kegs back and forth, but we were doing our own bar backing, to so to speak. But he says he has an experienced staff and they were prepared for a good crowd since the parade fell on a Saturday and the weather turned out to be perfect. We did, however, speak to one employee of a different city market business. She did not want to go on camera, but she says her experience as someone in the food and drink industry was not as pleasant. She says she got few tips and was treated poorly by customers. But Strickland says he feels like the crowd overall improved this year and the atmosphere surrounding the event was more family friendly than past years. It was a family oriented event. There was people from with kids all the way through dark and it was just so much of a more well rounded event this year. If anything, it brought back some of the warm and fuzzies I have about St. Patrick's Day and I'm looking forward to next year again because I think Savannah could not have done a better job of handling these festivities. At one point Strickland says the kitchen relied on big holidays like this but the business has since evolved. We used to be really big on waiting for these big days. It was how you actually got through the year but as the Savannah economy has grown we've grown with it and we're really not relying on those but it doesn't mean that we're not um, grateful for them because it makes a big difference at the end of the year. And Strickland says they will have a meeting with management to decide what went well this year and what they can improve on. But overall, he says he's excited for the future of tourism here in the Hostess City. Reporting live in Savannah, I'm Sarah Smith, WSAV News 3 on your side.